Alright, it's a bit grim outside this morning, so we've come in for an, have a nice fire. Um, so, remember what we've said about resting as awareness. Ever so easy, because it's your true nature. Just pause thought for a few seconds. Yeah. Now I'd like to say a bit here about epiphanies, about, I meet many people who go to talks, who uh, read the books and all the rest of it, and they're waiting around for something to happen. They're waiting around for enlightenment or liberation. They're, you know, they're waiting to be like uh, walking along the road and then suddenly all sense of self falls away or sitting on their sofa one evening and poof! The pseudo self is no more. And I think this is a bit misleading actually because indeed so, that can happen. But I find a lot more people who simply begin to rest as awareness, whether it's they've realised it themselves through reading books or, or whatever, or the events that have happened in their lives, where they begin to realise that Thought is not king. And so they begin to learn, usually gradually, sometimes more rapidly, to turn away from thought, to just draw attention away from thought, and to rest. As awareness, that gnawing noise is the Avon lady's rabbit eating one of my best pieces of furniture, as usual. Anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, here she comes. Here she is. Uh. Uh. Anyway. So... All this stuff we hear about having some awakening experience or, or, or there's got to be no one there, really, you know, it's completely unnecessary. It's, in a way, it's a side effect. You, you don't need an energetic shift to be awareness, because awareness simply is, awareness is all, this is awareness, the room is awareness, the fire is awareness, this hand is awareness, these words are awareness. What sort of energetic shift is, is necessary to make that so? So many people may experience an energetic shift, they may find there's no one there, all of a sudden. But I would also like to point out that in resting as awareness, the more you rest, then you'll begin to notice that actually there are no people, there are no me's, there are no someones in awareness anyway. There's only awareness full of pictures, of movement, of apparent people. Birds flying around and all the rest of it. So don't hang around waiting for the disappearance of this 
pseudo self, the ego or whatever you might like to call it. Just rest as awareness. And the rest, all the rest of it you'll notice as a side effect. <laughs>